Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel for a different kind of video. So let me just preface this by explaining what I'm going to do. Um, you guys know that I've been buying Walmart wax and exploring different types of uh, wax melting like with my centerpiece and trying to explore other, you know, uh, types of uh, wax enjoyment, I guess, or wax brands and, you know, experimenting and all that. So I decided that I would try buying um, some wax from Etsy. Um, that's, you know, a website, if you guys don't know, where people make their own, you know, uh, stuff, jewelry, clothing, whatever they do, and they also sell wax. So I decided that I was going to pick three wax vendors at random that I had never tried before or heard of or anything buy some wax test it out and uh, see how you know see how it goes so that's what I did and I am going to be reviewing the first one that I tried and then I'm gonna just give you a sneak peek at the other ones that I bought and then later on when I melt those, I will review them and talk about them in depth. So let's get started. So the first wax that I tried is by a vendor called Turtle Dinosaur. Now, let me say that as with all of these Etsy wax things that I'm going to be showing you, I'm not getting paid by these people. They don't know I exist other than that I'm a customer and bought from them. I mean, I have no partnership, no deal with them or anything like that. This is just totally me, you know, just talking about how I feel. Okay, so first vendor, Turtle Dinosaur. Cute name. So it says, here. here's what the package looks like. Okay, as you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. All right, so Turtle Dinosaur, and it says, whimsical essentials for the nerd in all of us. And the scent is called Midnight Library. And it's a soy wax melt hand poured in Dodge City, Kansas. So, the reason that I picked this is because the description was so unique and so different um, that I just had to get it. You know, I'm a former goth, and you know, once a goth, always a goth, but you know, it really struck me as something strange and unusual that I just had to try. It's like a Cindy Lauper thing. Why is she so unusual? Sorry, going back to my 80s stuff. Okay. And I love her descriptions. Now, you know that I always make fun of Yankee Candle for putting up long flowery descriptions of their wax that really don't say anything. You know, like it smells like sunshine and a breeze on a beach with a smile and, you know, uh, magic and all that kind of, and fairies and stuff like that. So, but these descriptions on, on, on her wax are particularly interesting, I think, and well done. And she sends you the description, I actually ripped this when I when I opened it, but she sends it to you. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I'm just going to read the first part. So this is the description for Midnight Library. It says, the clock strikes midnight and Gertrude smiles as she nudges open the library's window. She slinks inside, first one tiptoe and then the next. The library's air conditioner has shut off hours ago to allow the books to breathe and Gertrude inhales deeply, savoring the rich scent of paper and ink, leather and musk, and lavender and tea. The midnight hour somehow makes the smells come alive as if the books themselves are about to take flight off the shelves and flutter their magic all over her. And it goes on from there. So, just to recap, paper and ink, leather and musk, lavender and tea. That is just a weird combination. And if you're like me, you like weird smells. Like, I like the smell. I like new book smell, new catalog smell, um, ink, paper, leather. You know, you buy a new pair of leather shoes. Not that I can afford that right now. And you open up the box and it's that leather smell and it's very enjoyable. So, this wax is so amazing and different and it's just the most unique and one of the best waxes uh, waxes um wax products or whatever wax forms that i've ever smelled 
you get that you definitely smell paper and ink. You definitely smell leather. It's it's like if you it's exactly like the description. If you're in a library and you smell like the old books type and the 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 ink on the pages, and um, the leather. Now lavender and musk or lavender and tea. What did it say? Lavender. See, I get the paper and ink. I get the leather and musk. The lavender and tea is very subtle. But, oh, it's, you could just, I can picture myself as Gertrude in the Midnight Library with that description. It puts me there. The scent puts me there. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. I, I can't rave enough about this wax. Um, and I loved it so much that I reordered. Uh, and I'm waiting for um, my purchase. I bought three more. I ordered three more and I ordered two other scents from the same vendor and all of her scents are kind of unusual like one of them that I bought um, that I ordered is called like vampire repellent which is supposed to smell like flowers and roses and stuff and the other one I think was called book boyfriend which is kind of similar I think in smell to this I forget and she has a bunch of different ones so she sells um, the wax cubes and she also sells mason jar candles that look like the the Bath and Body Works style jars um, but unfortunately, they don't have Midnight Library at this time. I see that they had it at one time, but they don't have it at, at this particular time. I don't know if I would have bought it in candle form because I've had horrible experiences with soy candles where they tunnel like crazy and they're just horrible. And um, yeah, so I don't know if I would have bought it in candle form, but I love it in wax. So that's the good part of it. That's the, um, wow, this video is getting long. That's the best part of it. The amazing, amazing, unique, different, wonderful smell. What about the scent throw? I tried melting this one cube at a time for the first two cubes. And at first it was really strong the first time I melted it. And the second time I melted it one cube, it didn't seem as strong. So then I tried melting it two cubes together at a time. And it definitely boosted the scent. I definitely think this is one that you have to melt two cubes at a time to get that intense um, fragrance. Uh, but because I love the smell so very, very much, it could not be strong enough for me. I mean, I I loved it. I go. I'm, I've been going over to this container literally every morning and and smelling it because I just adore the scent that much. Um, the other there there are a couple of bad things about this. Um, so. I've been melting these uh, cubes in my Yankee Candle tea light warmer things, you know, with the little bowl. Here's what it looks like when it's melted. It's like a, it's a, a black gray wax. I find, and I've been using these Bath and Body Works tea lights. You can see how old these are. Uh, I bought them at the semi-annual sale for like two bucks for a whole bunch of them. So the even melting it two cubes at a time it only, the fragrance only will last through one tea light, which is 3.5 hours. So the scent doesn't last very long. Two cubes, one melting session, and that's it. The scent is gone. So that's, that's a little, you know, that's a little bit of a deterrent. The other thing is, it's kind of expensive. Um, the, the, a package like this is $5 plus shipping. And the shipping is like $3. Something like that. Um, so that that's, you know, that's also a consideration. The, sm the scent doesn't last that long. It was a little on the expensive side for something that doesn't last that long. Um, the, the wax cubes themselves are soft. Um, I mean, not soft, but softer than the traditional paraffin, regular uh, wax melts that you would get from other places like Yankee Candle and Walmart and such. And if you keep opening the package over and over again, like I did, um, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll crack down the, the middle and stuff, but that's my own fault. Cause I, I shouldn't keep doing that all the time. So that's, that's another thing. And then, uh, a, another point is that she doesn't include samples. I, the other Etsy vendors that I purchased from at random, they included samples of their other scents. Um, she does not include samples. I mean, to each his own. The wax is great. Love the scent. Um, so, you know, just something to consider. The other thing is, after you melt this wax in there, 
if you you cannot put your thumbs in and push the wax out and pop it out like you would with a traditional regular paraffin type vegetable whatever wax it is that Yankee does or Walmart does it doesn't pop out you have to put it in the freezer and then it'll come out you can't you can't just do it without freezing it that's another thing um what else can I tell you she seems like a very nice person turtle dinosaur the vendor um like I said I placed an order another order from her for three more of midnight library one of vampire repellent and one of book boyfriend so I'll let you know when those uh, arrive and, and how they are. Uh, she was very nice and, and I, I saw that I was refunded $3. Um, she said because she had uh, accidentally overestimated the shipping and she provided me with a refund for um, the overage, which was really nice of her. Um, so there's that. So I, I think, you know, if, if you're a goth out there, if you like the description that I just read you about Midnight Library, I definitely give it a shot. It's really great. Um, but like I said, it has a couple of problems, you know, as far as, uh, you know, the scent lasting and, and, and the price. So there's that. Now I'm just going to give you a sneak preview of the other two Etsy vendors that I decided to try out. I haven't melted the wax yet. I'm not going to go into the description. I'm just going to show them to you real quick and then that'll be for another video. Um, so the first one that I want to show you is... Okay. I had... I ordered... Flower Bomb. And this is from House of Wax really pretty they sent two samples they sent vanilla buttercream which I love this person's handwriting I wish I had perfect handwriting like that and I'm not gonna go too much into the description but this I could smell before I even opened the package uh, with all of the wax melts in it so and then the other one that they put in there which is really sweet and cute uh, it's shaped like a bunny rabbit and this is a uh, tea and cakes so we'll see how that turns out from house of wax the other uh, vendor that I decided to pick at random and try is Sugar Bell Candles. And I picked up a, uh, a clamshell and kiss and tell. And they sent me a, um, a sample of, it's shaped like a little flower here. And this is in the scent Hawaiian Jasmine. Okay, so, did you get to see that there? Yeah, so I, like I said, I'm not going to go into the scent description on those because that is for another day. As far as Turtle Dinosaur from Dodge City, Kansas, I will link the information to her Etsy shop down below just in case anybody's interested. But like I said, I'm not, it, this is just my own personal opinion. It's not really, it's not an endorsement. It not, I'm not telling you to go buy her wax. I'm, you know, I'm just letting you know how what I thought of it uh, and the other th the thing that she puts in here when she sends you the wax it's a little thank you for your order uh, thing okay so that's gonna be my video you guys have tried Etsy wax uh, vendors that are amazing you know give me some tips down below what you like and if you guys have ever heard of turtle dinosaur or you tried midnight library let me know that too until next time comment rate subscribe and uh, I'll see you in my next video goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land